A woman swept away during a kayak and hiking adventure on Kauai over the weekend was visiting from California. Kauai police today identified that victim as 32-year-old Amy Abraham of California from El Cajon. Abraham was on a guided tour along the Wailua River and was crossing the river by foot when she was swept away. The area was under a flood watch at the time the tour left and then a flash flood warning had just been issued. Alisa Revelo spoke with the owner of the tour company yesterday, and tonight she's digging deeper into how these tour companies are regulated to keep their visitors safe. Elisa. Howard, I wanted to know, are there any specific rules in place for these tour companies to operate? I learned the State Department of Land and Natural Resources keep ta keeps tabs on these businesses. Nobody from DLNR wanted to speak to us on camera, but told me in a statement, commercial kayak tour operators on the Wailua River, Kauai, are required to obtain a permit from the Division of State Parks. I learned that Kayak Wailua, the company that was guiding the river tour on Saturday, has been in compliance and has a good safety record with DLNR. Despite there being a flash flood watch, Kayak Wailua did not cancel the tour. So I asked DLNR, are tour companies required to notify their guests of any potential weather hazards? The state says it can't comment any further since the incident is being investigated. So we checked with State Representative Ryan Yamane, who heads the Committee for Water and Land Use. He tells me with public safety at hand, the issue is worth looking into. <laughs> they put themselves in harm's way, and then our first responders and others then are also put in harm's way when they have to go and rescue them during, you know, very bad or, uh, you know, very dangerous condition. You know, we can bring in both the public sector and the private sector companies together to have that discussion to see if we can find a way to ensure that um, you know um, the industry flourishes as well, but also does their due diligence by you know warning their customers. I reached out to Kayak Wailua again today, and they tell me all of their guests are required to sign a liability release before going on a tour. Now, DLNR is the agency handling the investigation into the woman's death. There's no word on how long it could take. Elisa Revelo, KHON2 News.